Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is Miguel McCute, three of the weekly contest for 35. Uh, oh, ooh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum in Discord, let me know what you think about uh, this part. We have Q3 minimum increments to equalize leaf paths. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum in Discord, let me know what you think about this one. This one's a little bit tricky. Um, here you're trying to, you, you can incre increment the cost of any node by any amount. And the idea behind this is just recursion, recursive based on every um, every every uh, node, uh, every parent node, right? And kind of you can think about it uh, just like I said, recursively. I think that's probably the cleanest. Let me pull up the drawing board. Hang on. Um, and the examples that they show you are f kind of for that reason, right? But basically, uh, and this also applies to um you know n every trees clearly they only show binary trees but let's do one with n examples right but okay so let's just say you have you know three nodes um the idea here is that okay let's say this is one two seven whatever right is that okay um mm, and honestly for me i actually the reason why I wrote it this way is because actually I don't care about the cost to the um, to the root yet. And what do I mean by that? Because okay, so you know, having this, let's say there is some, you know, it goes all the way up. There's some path all the way to the root. But in the purpose of these three nodes, they don't care, right? Why don't they care? Well, they don't care because this overlap, this overlap is true for all three nodes, right? That means that given these three nodes. We have to equalize them here. I mean, obviously, the the actually, the, it's not that you have to equalize them here. To be more precise, to be more precise is that if if we're here and we don't equalize them, then there's just no other way to equalize them. So then now we have to set this. We have to adjust this to a seven and adjust this to seven, right? And then now here, if we go up, then now. Um, and that's it because going up then now th you can say every root every node in the subtree has seven plus whatever this cost is right and that's it and then you kind of go up and here you can see that you are just for two nodes and then you just keep track of all of that so you, you know the, the natural question is well um, how does this work right um, no, I mean I think that's really how um and this goes recursively right because let's just say this is i don't know this node is a 10 so now you have 7 plus 10 is you go to 17 and then this this node has another node that is i don't know 14 with a lot of you know and here we assume that by here when, when i say 14 i mean that every one of the leaves is 14 right because by definition it has to be and you already counted it that means that here we have to change this node by plus three so that every leaf will be 17 instead. So that's basically the idea. It's just, I don't know. Honestly, I thought this was the easier of the uh, the one, the Q1, Q2, and Q3 by this construction uh, properly. Recursive properly, rather. Um, and I think the, the key thing to know for this problem is seeing it from the leaves perspective so that even if you write it recursive down, which I did, um, think about it not as it down, but as it propagates back up. And we'll go over the code you know, like now, and it fits in mostly into one page. First, uh, I mean, we, we we have some code here to just kind of set up the adjacency list. Pretty standard stuff, so I'm not going to go that deep into it. Here we calculate from uh, the root node with no parents, and then we just return the count. We have a count here, and yeah, and we just recursively calculate what is the cost of everything uh, to order or the leaf nodes, right, um, before we merge them. So we have one entry per child, right? And then if we have total zero, zero, if length of VS is greater than zero, that means that with the number of child is greater than zero, we take the max, uh, and then the, because we're trying to order numbers that are not the max, so so this is the, all the numbers that are not the max. We want to increase it to the max by looking at the, the child node. So that's basically how you get the count. Um, and that's, that's a global count. 
and then we add total to the the max value and then now get we add the max value plus the cost of the node um, and that will be because the max value is what we don't have to change the max node and that is the new cost of every leaf in the path and and this is kind of a it's not a loop invariant because it's not a loop but it is almost like a recursion invariant right it is an invariant in that once you add a node all the children uh, at, you know at after after this step all the children will now have the same cost uh, because we we adjust them to the same cost and the same cost is just the max children plus the cost of this current node and then we turn it and we solve the recursively. What's the complexity here, right? Well, we look at each node once, so that's at least O of n. We look at each edge once, and for each edge, we do a max function. So this is linear as linear gets. It is a tree, so number of edges is the number of nodes plus one or whatever. They might have a tree, you go plus or minus one. But, uh, so, but it is linear, right? So it's linear time, linear space, and that's it. That's that's all for this problem. Uh, the key note about this is to kind of uh, figure out the invariant in which, you know, you can almost think about them as merging up even, right? Um, because when you have different values, um, you try to set them the same. And then once they're the same, if you change a higher up node, all of them are going to change, right? So, uh, so you can change them all at once and that will give you the minimum. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me solve a live and contest now. Bugs. Uh, one hour and 20 minutes. So we're 10 minutes in. All right, let's go. 10 minutes in, two wrong answers already. Not doing great, but uh, okay. All right, you have tree node edge. It's a tree. Okay, that's fine. Each node of I traverse to that node. Some of the root to leave no you go to increase the score of all root to leave paths equal by increasing the cost of any number hmm what does that mean uh it means propagate back up right because yeah so it's just look at all the children you look at the children what happens uh, what happens when you look at the children? Let me write this while I think about it. Um, maybe I can write and think about it at the same time. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Let me just finish writing. Um, so then now we node, right? So then, uh, and maybe parent. In um, what's it called? E of node. If e is not equal to parent, then we calculate the parent of the e node, right? So then now we have to fix. How do I change this? Minimum number of nodes, right? Um. Okay, so we, so, okay, so what happens if two children are not the same? That means that you can cause node of one of those nodes or the root of that parent node or root of the children node. So you increase the children root node directly and they're not the same. What if they are the same? And they're the same, then you good you're only increasing right so that means that it is so something like this right? um then now we want to we have to increase everyone to the parent node or well, not the parent node but the biggest thing right so max v s right mm, where's the current 
and then length of VS minus this is going to be the number of node changes, right? But okay, so that's to get everyone the same. Right? Is that it? And then we return max, because that's the value for the nodes plus uh, cost of the node, because that is the cost of the previous nodes, right? So then something like this. Is that right? A few to. Hmm. It feels too weird. Okay, let's see. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, wait. It's root to leaf. No, I think this is right. Maybe. Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out now anyway. Uh, max is not associated with a value. Okay. Mm. Yeah. One zero one. Yolo. Okay, I thought maybe I misunderstood it, but that's fine. All right, let's go. Uh, not bad. We did that one in another five minutes. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about, well, today's problem, this contest, everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.